Okay, so we all know the significance of platelets in dengue, the thrombocytopenia associated with it, which increases the chance of bleeding. But what about hemoglobin? Is there a significant role of hemoglobin monitoring in dengue? Yes. What happens that in dengue shock syndrome, there is a capillary leak and because of the capillary leak, the patients get intravascular depleted. And when the patients get intravascular depleted, the hemoglobin value rises. So if you are seeing a dengue patient's report in which the hemoglobin is gradually rising, it was earlier 12, now it becomes 13, now it becomes 14. That means it's an early sign of impending dengue shock syndrome. Indirectly, hematocrit should be monitored. So it is three times like 12, so into 3, 36 should be the hematocrit. And if there is a 20% rise in hematocrit value, it's a very significant marker that this patient requires hydration, hospitalization, colloids to prevent from impending dengue shock syndrome. So always keep a track on hemoglobin concentration also. Platelet falls, hemoglobin rises. Do read more about it.